why are you so lazy right now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna love you back to strength. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go free to try some. This is Frilly Banana Girl here. Welcome to another episode. So today's video is on Gigi Gorgeous. And some of you might be wondering, who is Gigi? Well, Gigi is a popular YouTuber. She's got, you know, a couple of millions, no, she's got over a million subscribers, really popular. And she's actually one of the very few channels that I watch. I watch like Trisha and I watch Harley and a few other channels, but not very many at all. Because I find her, you know, entertaining. I find her funny and, you know, inspiring in her own way and brave and confident and all that sort of good stuff. But there's definitely things that we do not agree on. And number one is diet. Okay, she made this meal prep video just recently where she lays out everything that she eats. And she said some things in it which I found really disappointing. And I'm going to show you the video here. Check it out. Look how much meat we got. This is like ridiculous. And there's a whole ass ton of chicken dish. I'm like, what? A lot of cows had to die for this. Sorry, vegetarians. But... Oh, shit, for real. Oh, well. Let me just say, I'm sorry for everyone out there that's vegetarian and this is gross to them, but meat. my preference is meat. And I <laughs> love eating meat. Okay, so as you heard, she said that she prefers meat, that she loves meat. And I was just like, oh, come on, Gigi. You know, you are the biggest animal lover around. So why are you eating animals if you love them? If you love animals, why are you cutting them up and putting them in your mouth? That is my question to you, Gigi. You know, we know how much you love your dogs, okay? I want to show you some footage for those of you who don't know Gigi, who haven't watched her videos. I want to show you some footage of her loving her dogs and expressing her love for her dogs. Check this out. I've recently come into the possession of a new puppy and I absolutely love her. Her name is Bella Princess. Mm. And I absolutely love her. Absolutely love her. Look, look, who's that? Is that your fans? Are those your fans? Look, all your fans. She has a little bit of stage fright now. Usually she's so talkative. Oh, she just wants to cuddle. Mm. Why are you so lazy right now? Mm. Mm. I'm gonna love you back to strength. Mm. Mm. Okay, so as you can see, she's gushing over her dogs like they are her children. So what is the difference between a cow, a calf, you know, or a dog or a puppy? What is the difference between the cow and the dog? That is my question to you. What is the difference? The only difference is society has collectively agreed that the cow is a domesticated food animal. And we eat this one. But the dog, we pet this one. You know, the dog is man's best friend. We pet this dog. You know, even though both animals are beautiful, intelligent beings who both want to live, both want to live as much as we want to live. So that difference, we need to make that connection. I grew up with calves, with baby cows, with calves, and they are the most amazing, playful, beautiful beings you would ever have the pleasure of knowing. I would play with them for hours and hours and hours. And there's no difference between the calf and the puppy. There isn't any difference. Except we have just decided to eat one and pet the other. So I want to make a connection here for Gigi today. I want to remind her to connect with her heart and realize that, you know, that meat that is in a package, you know, you get a plastic wrap and it's like, oh yeah, I eat meat. No, you're eating something that used to be a beautiful living animal, but it's come to you in this plastic wrap, so you're detached. You, you, it's not in your, in your face what it really is. If you had to kill your own animal, Gigi, imagine. I want you to imagine killing every one of your meals. You know, you say you love me. Do you really? No, you don't, because you wouldn't want to kill those beautiful animals and then sit down and cook them up and cut them up and eat them? No way. The only reason you're comfortable with this is because someone else is doing the dirty fucking work for you. Doing that dirty, bloody, disgusting, soul-destroying work. You don't have to do it. You just pay them. Here you go. Here you go, Mr. Slaughterhouse Worker. Do my dirty work for me so I can love my meat and enjoy my meat. Make the connection. You know, and another reason is you're not eating it raw. Eat your meat raw, as it's intended to be in, as every other animal carnivore, omnivore, eats it. Eats it, the flesh, and the gizzards, and the eyeballs, and the anus, and the intestines, and the fur, and all that shit. They crunch it all up. But no, we have our little select piece of meat. We have our favorite cut. 
we clean it away. There's none of that reality. We clean the reality, reality away and it becomes this product, this sterile product. So, okay, that's enough of me ranting, but I want to show you a video that will helpfully hope you, Gigi, and anyone else out there who's eating animals and they say they love animals, well, look, if you eat animals, if you love them, you're not going to eat them because you don't eat your friends, do you? Who eats their friends? It just does not make sense at all. Do not eat your friends or you don't love them. It's just, it's very hypocritical. So check out this video. And I think probably a lot of you have seen it because it went viral, but it is a really important video to see because it really connects the dots for the people in this video in particular. So check it out. <laughs> Ligo isso aí, ó. ó. Pode pegar, fique à vontade, escolha o tamanho que a senhora quiser. Perceba a delícia que é instantânea. É boa ou não é boa? Gostou? Delícia. Aqui é o seguinte, é feito na hora. Se a senhora gostar, a senhora leva. E é promoção, quer ver? Ó. Ah, essa não saiu boa. Ó, essa não saiu boa. Acho que está faltando carne aqui na máquina. Mas fica tranquilo que eu vou alimentar a máquina, tá bom? Tá bom. Oh, delícia. Vai, vai lá. Você essa daí é linguiça? Essa, essa. Essa daí é linguiça assim, não é linguiça. Você gosta de linguiça de porco? Que linguiça de porco, gente? Essa aí que você tava comendo é a mãe. É linguiça. Ah, 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 ah. Essa que você comeu é a mãe dele. Ó, oh, oh. oh, perfeito. Ó, oh. oh. você viu que linguição? Essa, ó, oh, é linguiça instantânea, porco fresco. Vou fazer pra senhora ver. Ó, oh. quer ver? Ó, oh. tá fraco. Hein? Tá fraco, Não, é, acabou a carne. Vou abastecer. Você vai ver que delícia. Quer ver? É na hora. Fresquinha, fresquinha. Essa, cara. Essa que a senhora comeu, ó, é a mãe, ó. Você sabe por quê, dona? Quer ver? Olha aqui, ó. Não, isso aí já era, isso aí já era. Quer ver? Vai, vai. Quer ver? Ó, ó, ó. Transformou. Aí, ó. Transformou. Olha que linguição. Pega na linguiça. Opa, tudo bem? Quer experimentar? Aqui, aqui do mercado, castanha. Você gosta? Vai um quilinho aí? Pode ser. Pode ser? Então, é pra já, viu? Vamos lá, vamos lá, que a linguiça é fresquinha, viu? Hum, agora sim. Essa aqui é fresquinha. Ei? Não. Não o quê? Não, ó, é, é linguiça fresquinha. Não, faz isso não. Não, fresquinha aqui, é para aí, ó. Calma, você me machucou aqui, pô. Você é louco? É. Peraí, aí, você não quer linguiça? Não, espera aí, ó. Presta atenção. Vamos lá. Não, não. não. Ah, opa, opa. Não, já tá comendo aqui, ó. Aqui, já tá saindo aqui, ó. Aí, ó. Não, não. Aí, ó. Você tá cobado? Fique tranquilo. Eu vou buscar mais. Tá. Pra abastecer a máquina, tá? Fresquinha na hora. Carne. De porco fresquinha. Vamos lá. Olha lá, hein? Nossa! O que foi? Aí! Aí! O que foi? O que foi? Olha, olha, olha que delícia! Aperta na minha, aperta a linguiça! Pega na minha linguiça! Olha, pega na minha linguiça! Tá com fresquinha? Um quilo, um quilo. Dois, dois. dois quilos. Oba! Isso aqui nós fazemos na hora. É instantânea. Tá gostosa? Uhum. Então vamos lá. Linguiça fresquinha. Fresquinha na hora. Vamos lá. Você, você não quer carne não, fresquinha? Não, vai matar o porco. Não, não vou matar. Não, não. Não, não. não falei que era na hora? Ah, aí, ó. Linguiça fresquinha. Não, sabe essa que vocês comeram aí? Sabe essa? É mãe desse que agora... Olha, olha, olha. Olha, 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 olha fresquinha. É a mãe. Como assim que eu vou fora a mãe dele? Não. Vem cá, ô oh, linguiça. Vou abastecer a máquina. 
aqui é na hora. Olha, linguiça na hora. Fica quieta. Ai. Você não quer? Você não quer? É linguiça fresquinha. Então, quer ver? Ó, feita na hora. Não, moço, só de Ó, ó. Vamos aí. Linguiça é o linguiceiro. É a linguiça. Vamos pôr a linguiça pra transformar. Não, tá louco? Não, essa aqui é a mãe é dessa. Doido. É a mãe dessa que você tá comendo. Ah, não é mãe dessa? Não, calma, meu. Pera aí. Pera aí. Calma. Você não quer linguiça? Não, eu tô com linguiça, mas eu tô louco. A senhora quer levar da minha linguiça ou não quer? Não quer levar linguiça nenhuma. Mas nenhuma. Não, esse aí não. O que, que é isso? Mas é o que a senhora leu aqui, ó. Porto. Nossa, eu nunca vi isso na minha vida. É porto fresco. Olha aqui, quer ver? Ó, fresco e santo. Ó. Aqui tem os fogos. Olha, olha, olha. Olha, esse é essa linguiça do seu c***. Ô, mano, que é essa educação? Ô, vem cá, ô. So that's a pretty amazing video, right? You see people not wanting anything to do with the piglet becoming the sausage, but they still want to eat the sausage. They still go home and eat the sausage because they're disconnected, desensitized by society. You know, we block that out. That doesn't really happen. You know, the animals don't really get slaughtered. No, 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 no. And we just keep eating this product. The living, breathing, beautiful animal becomes a product. And that's what we're eating. We, you know, even though we know deep down that that's what's happening, the slaughter is happening, we just shut it out. We forget about it. And even this generation's being brought up now who I don't even think they know that that was a real animal. They're just like, oh, I just get my meat from the supermarket. You know, that's where it comes from. No, there's a lot of fucking hell, a lot of hell behind that product. And you're paying. When you pay, you say, that's okay. You say slaughter, torture, abuse, that's all right. Here. Thumbs up. Take my money. I support you. I support that. See, and that's something you gotta connect up. Okay? Connect that up. Connect with your heart again and your life is going to change. Your health is gonna change. Your appearance is gonna change. Everything is just gonna line up and you're gonna feel your best. So, Gigi, I challenge you to carve the fuck up and try the raw to four lifestyle. I know you love fruit, so you can pound that fruit in and you're going to look and feel your best for sure. And some of you might be like, oh, Gigi already looks amazing and, you know, she doesn't need to change her lifestyle. Well, it's more, more than just about how you look, of course. You know, there's ethics involved as I've just spoken about the whole video. But when it comes to, you know, age, like Gigi is in her early 20s. So you can get away with a fair bit of eating the wrong thing when you're young. But I'm telling you, it catches up for sure. And I'm heading for 35. And I stay lean, fit and healthy, effortlessly on this raw to four lifestyle. Pounding back the fruit, just feeling amazing, unlimited, as much as I care for, and it, it just works, okay? There's no, like, stimulants and caffeine and calorie restriction and spewing and starving yourself. That is all out the door. And, GG, you are going to love this lifestyle, and I'm here for you if you need coaching for sure. So that's my video for today, you know, and we know that GG loves animals, and we love that about her. So, GG, we just want to make that connection for you. So everybody, don't forget to go fruit or root yourself and I'll see you soon.